everyone. I hope that we had a wonderful weekend. This weekend in the garden was actually super easy and we actually harvested some romaine lettuce for a salad and it was amazing. But we uh, found a friend. Oh, you're gonna pull it? Oh, ew! Yeah, they're just like, oh my god! Wow, that's a pretty decent size one, dude. Yeah, I despise slugs. Like, I, I can't explain it. Anyway, I stuck some bush bean seeds in place of those lettuces. Um, I think I'll just do that from now on in the beds. Um, with the hotter season coming up, yeah, I'll just do some bush beans instead. Here's the salad we made. Just kept it really simple. Some lettuce, the rest of the radishes, tuna, a little bit of cheese, some black beans, and some pepitas, pumpkin seeds. This honey mustard dressing was really good. Honestly, it was very simple, yet so damn delicious. What's up? So it is Sunday, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, obviously, what? What? happy to, happy day to me too. Um, what? Today, we're gonna go spend some time in the garden a little bit. We need to do a round of fertilization. I'm going to thin down some of the seedlings that I planted. I can't remember, it was either two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Um, and then show off some of our seedlings that are starting to pop up. We got some beans coming through. Our cucumbers are starting to pop through. Our tomatoes are like actually growing. They were like not moving for quite a while, but yeah, we're ready. 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 Okay. This is the invincible tomato that I started from seed. So that this is this is awesome. So I hope it does some. I hope it does pretty good. My father-in-law actually gifted us some tomato cages. I'm going to use them as supports for my peppers. I don't know if I showed it off, but I have this plant hanging planter right here. I actually put a tomato plant in here, uh, one of the super sweet 100s. So we're gonna see if it just kind of hangs down and have a little patio tomato that we can just kind of grab from. Our peas are kind of starting to climb around each other and I see a little tendril. So they're gonna start climbing here soon. Yeah, they're touching each other. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to have some peas. Here's our beets and somehow a lettuce seed snuck into here because there's just a head of lettuce right there. The turnips are like getting huge. I didn't know turnips could get this big. Oh, we see some ants. I've also been trying to weed here and there because I'm actually learning what the weeds look like. But this, I finally pulled up all the rest of the radishes. You saw we had some in our salad the other day, but we actually, I actually just pulled the rest and we ate them in our salad today because we had some leftover lettuce. And I just replanted a bush bean in this one too. The same that is in this one but this is already starting to poke through, which is awesome. Hey, be nice. There's also a bush bean right here when I pulled up the lettuce for our salads. But earlier we saw we have a friend who has been hiding out in our garden. He's been eating my spinach. He ate some spinach. I don't blame him, I love spinach too. And I'm pretty sure he ate this kale plant right here. This by the wooden stake. That's supposed to be a kale plant. <laughs> oh yeah, right here too. These are some collard greens that I totally forgot I planted. So we'll see how those do. So my Chinese cabbage has been blowing my mind. For a while it was just kind of growing out, but now it's actually growing up. This is easily, I don't know, Holy, look at that. Oh. I, it just makes me so happy because I actually started these seeds. So we have some damage. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we have some damage, some collards here and some of the cabbage here. 
and this one probably has the worst. And I don't know if that's, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's like slimy, sludgy balls, but I don't know if those, if that's like poop or eggs. But I think the culprit are slugs. Oh God. I'm like slugs are my least favorite thing in the entire world. I just, I can't, I just don't know what else it could be, you know? Oh look, it goes all the way down there. What is that? Anyway, this one's actually looking pretty big too, but I have learned that at least this kind of cabbage, and if I do the China Star again, they will be getting their own bucket because these are huge and shading out some of this lettuce. So we have a zucchini in this one, zucchini in this one. This is okra. I don't know if I showed this off last time, but we got some okra from our local nursery. And I, this is gonna be my herb pot. Um, I wanna mess around with making uh, my own pickles this year. So I got some dill, and some more basil. And here's our cucumber. This is the Boston pickling. And we have little guy coming through the deli star. And I had two cages left, I decided to use that for the cucumbers. So now I'm going to make sure things get nice and fertilized. And if it's not watered enough by then, I'm gonna give it a nice water. And then we're going to thin down a lot of our little seedlings over there. So let's get to it. I want to do it. No. I want to do it. I want to do it. No, I want to work it out. I'm going to do it. Oh, what's this? That's dill. Dill? Yeah. I need dill. This is the, actually the basil plant that I started as a seed. It started to act really sad. So I'm like, you know what, I don't care. I'll buy a couple more basil plants, but it's starting to bounce back. And um, I pulled all the leaves I could off of it, but it's grown some more. Um, yeah, so these are backups if anything gets too sad. I think we got this done just in time because it is looking like it's gonna rain. So now I'm wondering, since I just fertilized all these plants, right? And if it rains like a lot, is that just gonna wash away all the fertilizer I just gave it? I'm curious now. Should I fertilize when I know there's not a huge chance of like a downpour? That was it for the weekend. Didn't really have much else to do. Um, I do want to show something else that I got, but I did not have time to get to. We have this beauty. My father-in-law got us a little greenhouse. A couple of other residents have theirs over there. Definitely gonna step up some of my seed starting and um, maybe even grow some stuff in our late season. But yeah, definitely very exciting. I'll probably get to that sometime this week. <laughs>